Hello, I will show you how to import CSV documents in Excel 2013. Um, these CSV documents are comma separated values. I will show you here a document. You can see that the values are between quotes and they're separated by um, a comma. Now every row is a new line and the comma indicates a new column will start or the end of the line in this case. Now what I'm gonna do is open Excel 2013 over here, then create a blank workbook. Then what you can do is um, if you want a header and you know what these values mean here, then you can already add a header, for example, time and package power. This is what these columns mean, as you can see, package power. This was generated with um, Hardware Monitor Pro, but let's start and import the values. Now we go to data, then import from text. Then you can see here CSV document, text, text files. I will, will go to my desktop, select the documents. Now, um, characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. Okay, yes, you can see that here. It's commas that separate each field. Now, it doesn't use tabs, but it uses a comma to separate each field. And here you can also select the qualifier, which indicates text. Now, um, depending on your regional settings, um, numbers either use a point or a comma to um, get greater accuracy. Um, in this case, you can see that these values are a uh, point in my data and the decimal separator is set by default um, of comma. So I'm going to change this to point and then these will be automatically um, detected as numbers instead of text. Existing worksheets. Okay. Now let's say you want to import another one. You can also select package temperature if I find it. Wait. Okay, here package temperature. Delimited. It uses a comma. And decimal separator is a point instead of comma. Then press finish. Then I add time package temperature. Okay, and now you can use this data to generate graphs or any, something else. Um, I wish you guys very good luck. I hope you find it informative. Thank you.